بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن والاه أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله we have the first hadith of the chapter of الصدق which is hadith number fifty four and it's reported by ابن مسعود رضي الله عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الصدق يهدي إلى البر وإن البر يهدي إلى الجنة وإن الرجل لا يصدق حتى يكتب أو يكتب عند الله صدقا. The hadith mentions that الصدق it leads to to البر. So truthfulness leads towards righteousness. البر is a form is a word that encompasses all forms of goodness, all forms of righteous deeds. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he tells us that when a person holds on to being truthful. He holds on to being truthful in his speech and in his deeds, as well as from within. He, everything he does is one of truthfulness. He's a person who is true. There's no, nothing fake about him, nothing inauthentic, nothing of lies about him. Then this will lead him towards albir, which means that truthfulness will lead him towards righteous deeds. It will make him a person of of righteousness. وإن البر and that righteousness will eventually يهدي إلى الجنة. This will lead him towards paradise. Allah عز وجل said in the Quran إن الأبرار لفي نعيم. The people of bir, those righteous people, they are لفي نعيم. They in a place of bliss, meaning in Jannah. This is a result of the righteousness, and this hadith tells us your righteousness will be a result of your truthfulness. And then the, the hadith says that a man, he will continue being righteous or truthful. La yasduq. He will hold on to truthfulness. Hatta yuktabu inda Allahi siddiqa. Until he will be written with Allah as a truthful person, as a siddiq. And we have a perfect example of this, which is Abu Bakr as-Siddiq. This was his nickname, as-Siddiq, the truthful one. Because of the truthfulness of his iman, the truthfulness of his belief in Islam, and in, of course in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The hadith then mentions the exact opposite. وَإِنَّ الْكَذِبَ يَهْدِي إِلَى الْفُجُورِ As for lying, it leads towards fujur. Fujur means all types of evil and sin. So when a person lies, when a person is not truthful, either in his speech or his deeds or within, in his heart, there is some type of inauthenticity, there is some type of uh, untruthfulness. This will lead him towards fujur. This will lead him towards being a major sinner. وَإِنَّ الْفُجُورَ يَهْدِي إِلَى النَّارِ And those sins, those fujur, this will eventually lead him to the fire. We mentioned the verse, إِنَّ الْأَبْرَارَ لَفِي نَعِيمِ وَإِنَّ الْفُجَّارَ Fujur, the people of fujur are the fujar. Allah said, وَإِنَّ الْفُجَّارَ لَفِي جَحِيمِ And as for those fujar, those sinners, those sinners, they are in the fire. This hadith tells us that a result, or one of the things that leads towards sins is, is what? Is lies. The more somebody lies, the more you will find that this leads him to, towards yani, sinning, falling into deeds that are displeasing to Allah. وَإِنَّ الرَّجُلَ لَيَكْذِبُ حَتَّى يُكْتَبَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَذَّابًا Then the Prophet said, a man will continue to lie. He will continue to be untruthful until he is written with Allah as a liar. He will be written by Allah as a kathab. So this person, with, with the more dishonesty, the more he is, uh, you know, he lies, he eventually will be written with Allah. This person is a kathab. This person has nothing but lies with him. Wallahu musta'an. So this hadith is in muttafaqun alayhi in Bukhari and Muslim. It shows us the importance of being truthful and it shows us the seriousness of lying, the harms of lying, of being just uh, untruthful, dishonest. And that it is actually a major sin. As many other scholars said, that lying is not something small. Lying is a major sin. And you will find it leads to more lies and to more lies and to more lies until the person ends up being written off as a liar. People may even know that this person is a, a kathab. It's one of the the consequences of lying. When people realize that, you know, this brother's told so many lies. 
eventually when he speaks the truth, so no, we can't trust him. This person is a kathab. So this is the danger of lying. And this will happen even with Allah. Allah will write this person off as a kathab. And this will be a result of him leading to fujur, which will lead him to the fire. Wallahu al musta'an. We ask Allah Azza wa to protect us. And we ask Allah Azza wa to make us of the sadiqeen. The people who are truthful and the siddiqeen. Those truthful ones like Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and others. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi jama'in. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha ila tastaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.